So maybe John, would you be willing to summarize like in your own words, rather than my writing, you know, what's important about the piece, why, you know, why you want to revisit it and what you're hoping to get out of that, that particular project? Oh boy, that's a challenge. I don't even know if I've ever written a program note for this thing, because I guess I was trying to uh, attempt a lot of things. I'm usually not very brief when I try to do these things, but I'm going to try to be. So the, the uh, let's go from the beginning. Uh, uh, there's an empty stage at an orchestra concert. Usually the orchestra is on the stage at the beginning when the audience is there. There's a point where, uh, and they're usually practicing on their instruments. There's a point when the concert master, the first violinist comes out and uh, then they usually have a tuning session that often lasts about half a minute, uh, which is uh, uh, led with the oboe. And uh, then the conductor comes out or the conductor and the soloist comes out. And, and between each of the, when each of these important people, supposedly important people come on, uh, there's applause. So the first requirement of this in an orchestral concert is that there's nobody on stage. And the first person to come on stage is the conductor. And the conductor gets up on the, comp on the podium, as usual, and acknowledge the audience or not as they prefer. Then they turn around to conduct, but there's nobody else on stage. And uh, nonetheless, there is sound. Why are we looking at it again? The main reason, I can give you an example of uh, one performance where uh, at, at, uh, back in the past, 20 years ago, the conductor would have wires running out, uh, through their, usually their stage clothes, you know, the, the, the white the, 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 the tails and the white shirt and everything, the white tie, uh, to uh, uh, little buttons that were in their hands, but there was wires that went through their costume. And uh, that had to be hooked up to a computer that was sometimes off stage, sometimes on stage, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there was a performance, uh, and the conductor, in fact, was only wearing a fancy dress shirt for this one, where he said, well, this is going to be no problem going right into the next piece after this. Uh, but it turned out he spent several minutes on stage trying to get the wires out of his costume. <laughs> he hadn't practiced this at all. And I, I was quite embarrassed, and he thought it would be more practical in future if the whole thing was wireless. We have most of the software component of this complete. All right. Are you able to see it? Yes. Perfect. All right. So here is Patch. Straight up, there's the presentation mode. Here's what everything looks like, a little behind the scenes before it's going to get worked on and updated even more. So currently, we have a set of instructions, which we're revising as we do user testing. We have a reset button to bring things down to zero. We can do scroll direction. We have a counter, a whole key list of what each number, how it corresponds to each sample and a little button. And I can also, just to show how hard it is to break this thing, I can just scroll through the samples and it'll eventually catch up. It sounds hideous, but you can get all the way through, all the way back. So from here, the updates we have to do are, we're going to update the interface because this is pretty basic and hopefully we're gonna add it boxes and rounded corners and make things look and maybe, nice. And have God forbid, and everything. We're going to update the instructions because a uh, half hour ago we were doing more user <laughs> testing and we found the we instructions learned. need updating. Windows it's specifically bad. will need updating yeah. and it needs and drivers to be working.